Hi friends, today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you guys as well as a life update and the go together. So let's get started. Hi guys, it is so nice to sit down and chat with you guys and share a life update with my Dollar Tree haul. They go together really well. Our oldest is moving out and I have picked up a bunch of stuff for his first place from the Dollar Tree and it'll just kind of tie in nicely with everything going on in our lives. So we are relocating, we are moving to Texas in a matter of weeks, so more on that to come. But first we have a family wedding and I am gonna be sitting with a few of the little people in my life while their parents are on stage as a part of the ceremony. So I remember when I was a kid, things like that were really boring, so I headed to the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So I'm planning on having my purse full of these things and pull them out if I need them. And if I don't, that's great. And I'll just give them all this stuff at the end. So I've got a little girl sitting with me. She's gonna be three years old and she really likes jewelry. So I'm probably gonna take like a pink and a purple and put them in my purse and put everything else in a bag to give um, to their parents afterwards but just something to kind of, oh, what's that? And then quietly play. Something else that I thought would be fun, hopefully, is they have these little things that are actually for wiping down your cell phone, but I think they make great little hand puppets. <laughs> so I picked up the dog and I figured that I could do the puppet and then maybe she could do the puppet and her little hand will probably fit in there. She's tiny. Now, I think that sugar is always an option when it comes to these things. So I did pick up a pack of Dum Dums. Now they're gonna be dressed up because it is a family wedding. So I'm gonna pick out like the lightest colors in here. And um, along those lines, her brothers will be with us. So I picked up three packs of Tic Tacs. So I got the white because I figured you know, little kids, they like to suck on things and then sometimes it ends up everywhere. So at least the white, you know, no problem. I actually got the green. I'm gonna give this to the oldest child. And then middle child, I think I'm gonna give the Coca-Cola because it's also white. So just an option. And then for the boys, I got Silly Putty. Now hopefully that's a quiet thing. I don't know, let me know if you think that's a good idea below in the comments. They're great kids. I just kind of want to have some options. So also, the little girl loves pretending to put on her makeup when her mom does. So I picked up some of the makeup brushes in this little pouch so that she can just get fabulous while we're sitting there. I have a little compact mirror from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna try and grab that and put it in my purse. And then she's really into little pets and I thought these were just great and they're tiny because I've got to haul all this around with me all day. They're just a little cat and dog by Barbie. So they're tiny, they each come with a little toy and they come in a little purse or basket. So I got those. Now this I thought would be fun. I'm not gonna bring the kitchen with me, but this little doll is tiny so I figured this might be a good little thing to have in my arsenal. And that's everything that I picked up to sort of equip myself for success for the wedding. So I'm gonna move stuff aside and show you guys what I bought for myself and then we'll get into the first apartment Dollar Tree haul. So one of the things I've been doing the last few months getting ready for our move is going through and using up what I have on hand. And I've completely run out of my Bolero face wipes, which is something I use every day. So I was glad to find some more and I did pick up a few bags. So this one is the citrus and I think tea tree oil. This one smells really good. I think I shared these in either the last shop with me at Dollar Tree or the one before. They had a couple other scents and I was not a fan. But I did like this one and it was the lavender and coconut oil. So I picked up a couple of those as well. And then they had this one, which is orange blossom and lavender. So I snagged a few of those. I use these every night to take off my makeup so that I'm not ruining all my washcloths right before I wash my face. Now, this is the only decor item I've hauled in a long time and I really miss it. 
but I found this and I thought it was a really cute little succulent. So I just shared a Dollar Tree shop with me and those little white and gold candle holders I think could double as little pots if you found succulents like this at the Dollar Tree and then you could just glue it right on top and it would look like a little plant. I also picked up a few lip colors. Now this one is by Wet n Wild. I really liked the packaging with those little gold lips and it is a matte lipstick and it's called Spiked Rum. And so I put some there, it actually kind of matches my shirt. I really just kind of go with those darker colors. <laughs> I don't wear lipstick throughout the day. I'll put it on when I put my makeup on and then it comes off inevitably and I end up with chapstick. So I'm that girl. But I also got this one. It is a matte lip lacquer. So hopefully it'll stay on a little bit longer. This one is called Juliet. So I'll have to give that a try. I've been really trying to eat a lot of salads. I love summertime with all the fresh produce and so I've been craving it a lot. So I picked up a few things. Normally I would probably pick up at the grocery store or maybe Costco in bulk. But right now with weeks away from moving over a thousand miles away, I'm trying to really reduce what I buy so that I use it up. So I love a good um, kale salad with a poppy seed dressing and cranberries with chicken. I love that. So, and like feta cheese, so good. So I picked these up. I always want more berries than are given in like the salad packs from Costco. And I also really like sunflower seeds on my salads. So I picked up a bag of those. These are an absolute staple for me. So I do kind of like three different salads. I'll do that one and then I'll get on a kick where I really like a Mexican style salad. So I'll do a little bit of corn, I'll do some beans, and then I'll do a pack of the tortilla strips with a spicy chipotle dressing and some chicken and it's really good. And side note, they also sell the crispy onions and I get those a lot. I actually just finished a bag. Those are really yummy on any of my salads. <laughs> I also got some beans. I like to do some either pinto beans or black beans on the Mexican style salad that I do. And that one, I highly recommend the Walmart brand of the Chipotle Ranch salad dressing. It is so good. Um, I also got some garbanzo beans just to kind of have as an option. And then I can't really find an Asian salad dressing that I love. I used to make one and I can't remember how I did it. And Costco had an amazing one, but they don't sell it anymore. So if you know of a wonderful Asian like chicken salad dressing, maybe like ginger or something, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear suggestions. But when I do that, um, I normally do buy the bagged Asian salad from the grocery store or from Costco and then I like to add in the mandarin oranges so I picked this up also for my salads. Now something not salad related but I um, should have used this because um, my youngest child loves macaroni and cheese. I don't like the mess that it makes in the middle of the day when you make it for lunch and they had this so I'm going to give it a try. It is a rapid mac cooker. It says it cooks in less than five minutes. So I will definitely give this a try and see if it works. I am very curious if a whole box of um, Kraft mac and cheese fits in here. So we will see. I was really impressed when they had their little brownie cooker and we used that until it just gave out. Something that our dog Poco has been very interested in. Um, I don't know how the dogs know that you have something for them in the bag, but they do. Because he's been sniffing at my Dollar Tree bags for a while. I picked up these for him, just a little dental stick, and um, it's by Purina. So just a small little something to have on hand for him. And my youngest has a soda stream that he got for Christmas. But cleaning those bottles is a chore because most bottle cleaners that you can find in sort of like the baby section are not quite long enough, but I found this one. So I'm hoping that this does the trick. It's 
got a nice long handle on it and I was thinking of like Jerry rigging my bottle cleaner to get to the bottom of his soda stream bottles. Also has the sponge on top and this was just over near their household um, cleaning products. And I just picked up some sugar-free lemon hard candy because my husband and I are gonna be driving to Texas, not once, but twice in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we actually have to drive out for our home inspection and then we have to come back, get our kids, our dog, pack up our belongings and go back out for closing. So I figured it'd be nice to have something that's not a whole lot of calories to just sort of keep my mind aware. We're probably gonna try and drive all the way through at least the first time. And then the second time with the kids and dog, we'll probably have to stop once. Um, so if you've done that drive and you know a great place to stop, I would love to hear down in the comments because as a child, I drove all the way to Florida every summer, but I'm an adult now, so haven't done that drive in a long time. So I'm a night owl and I think that I'll be driving at night while my husband drives during the day. So the fun part is when we go out for our walkthrough, I think I'm gonna be able to film a quick empty house tour to share with you guys. And um, we'll see how I can get that up because we're flying home, loading up our stuff in a trailer, packing up the kids and the dog, and heading back out. But at least I'll have it filmed for you guys. All right, now I'm going to get into everything I bought for my son for his first apartment, and it's all from the Dollar Tree. So to add to the chaos of having a family wedding and moving and all these things, our son is moving out on his own into his first place. And so I kind of wanted to get some of the staples and just that way kind of train him. <laughs> Don't spend a lot of money, check out the Dollar Tree and less expensive places since he's gonna be on his own budgeting. So I got a few things for him. Um, I did have to pick up a few other things from places like Walmart. I actually got some things at Aldi. So I might do a video on that, but what I got him are just things to have on hand. So I already have a large stock of cold and flu medicine and Tylenol and things like that. But I do like to have this on hand whenever there's a sniffle in the house and it's the nasal relief spray. You're not gonna find it any cheaper and this works exactly like the ones that you can find at the big box stores and it's only a dollar. I also got him the Vicks uh, Vapor Cough Drops and it's just a nice small, it's a small container because he's gonna have a small place. Um, to go along with that sort of staples, I'm gonna give him, I have a lot of like cotton balls and cotton rounds and things like that. I have a very large stock of from Dollar Tree. So he's gonna be sharing his apartment with a roommate and I wanted to put all of those sort of bathroom things like Q-tips in a container. So I actually thought this might be good. This has a locking lid. It's for fruits and vegetables and both sides click and then it just has the little strainer. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna fill it with Q-tips and cotton balls and cotton rounds. And that way they're all sort of together. If they fall, they're not gonna get wet. And it's not a glass container to get broken in the move. And then he's gonna be cooking his own food. So I got him a few little things for his spice cupboard. And then whatever we don't take, pastas and rice and things like that, I'm gonna pass on to him something I thought would be really nice to start out with is a basic salt and pepper. I actually got one for us as well. I am going to pack our salt and pepper shakers. And so I'm gonna do one tub of things we're gonna need immediately when we get there, like one pot, one pan, paper, plates, some cups, things like salt and pepper. So I got two of these, one for him and one for us. And then his girlfriend and him have been cooking here and um, buying things for different recipes, different ingredients. So um, I had them use some of my minced garlic and they really liked it and the price of it. So I got him a jar of the minced garlic. It's the best deal around. It even beats Aldi's price, which is a smaller jar and it's closer to $2. So 
he has a sweet tooth like his mother and he really likes cinnamon um, toast so got him a big bottle of cinnamon you can't beat that price either for 2.25 ounces and then just some basics so this one is a complete seasoning it has onion and garlic and basil and it looks like parsley in the picture so I'm just gonna give him that and he'll have a way to season things and then some basic garlic powder which I put in everything and that's a three ounce bottle now he's gonna be cooking on his own so I have picked up a few dishes here and there Target and Walmart both have really great dishes for 50 cents. So I've got him a pack of those. He's gonna have to wash them. So I got him some dishwasher tablets cause that's the best price. And then I don't know if he'll even use these, but I did pick up some shelf liner because their place is tiny and they'll just be moving in. And I'm not sure how clean it's gonna be. We'll probably get to see it right before we leave. So pray for me. <laughs> I also got him some things from Walmart, like um, actually Target, a bunch of deodorant and body wash and shampoo, just things that I know he's gonna need right off the bat because it's not living with mom anymore. So I got him a pack of toothbrushes. I think this is one of the best things you can buy at the Dollar Tree. You get three name brand Colgate toothbrushes for a dollar. And then I got him a bunch of tubes of toothpaste and I tried to get the largest ones. So it's always a good buy at the Dollar Tree and he'll be doing his own laundry. So I picked up some Gain all-in-one tablets for him for the washing machine at Aldi. It was a really good price. And then I just got him some of the dryer sheets from the Dollar Tree. It looks like they already popped open. So I use these. They work great. They smell great. That's what's going on in my life. So I might be doing a Q&A soon if I can find some time to do it. Um, there's a few other videos I have to edit to share with you guys, but um, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know if you're even interested in seeing a Q&A. Maybe I can do it while we're on the road and so good to just sit down and visit for a minute. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.